We want to warn you that this next story contains some very disturbing video. A surveillance camera captured a deadly confrontation between police and a 12-year-old boy carrying what turned out to be a fake toy gun. CNN's George Howell has the video and the details. This video was recorded on a security camera in a Cleveland park, and it shows Tamir Rice moving in and out of view. Keep in mind, these are the last few moments of this 12-year-old's life, a video his family wants you to see. First, we see Rice pacing the sidewalk, brandishing what looks to be a weapon, at one point even taking a two-handed shooting stance. All the while, police say he was being watched. The gentleman sitting in the gazebo is the gentleman that called into our dispatch center. Here's that initial call to 911. I'm sitting in the park at West Boulevard by the West Boulevard Rapid Transit Station. And there was a guy in there with a pistol. You know, it's probably fake, but he's like pointing at everybody. In fact, the caller points out twice the gun is probably fake. The guy keeps pulling in his arms. It's probably fake, but you know what? He's scaring the shit. Here's the clip that shows why the man called 911. The object that looks like a handgun, we now know, is really a toy pellet gun. And Rice seems to point it at this person, whose identity is blurred. Police say he's also seen here, reaching for his cell phone, then having a conversation. Minutes later, Rice moves to the gazebo, where he's now alone. This just minutes before police arrive, and now we know exactly what the dispatcher told the responding officers before they arrived. Notice how she never relays the information that it may be a fake gun. Everybody's tied up on priorities. Supposed to be a guy sitting on the swings pointing a gun at people. A few seconds later, she describes Rice, but again fails to pass along the words the 911 caller used about the gun probably being fake. In the park by the youth center, there's a black male sitting on the swings. He's wearing a camouflage head a gray jacket with black sleeves. So he keeps pulling a gun out of his pants and pointing it at people. What happens next happens very quickly. Officer Frank Garmack driving and Officer Timothy Lohman in the passenger seat. The officers ordered, ordered him to show his hands and to uh, uh, drop the weapon and, the, and uh, the young man pulled the weapon out and the, that's when the officer fired. In the dispatcher's audio, you can hear the officer's grim call for help. Radio, um, shots fired, male down, um, black male, maybe 20, um, black revolver, black handgun, I'm sending him up this way. That video is hard to watch, but police say they released it at the family's request. They say not to exonerate anyone, but to be completely transparent, Wolf. And they say that the two officers remain on administrative leave pending a criminal investigation.